The 32 Artillery Brigade, Akure Undo State, has emerged winners of the two division of the Nigerian Army Inter Brigade Competition held at the Sobi Cantonment in the Loring. This is just as the General Officer Commanding Two Division of the Nigerian Army, Major General Valentin Okoro, again warned criminals that they will be decisively dealt with. Correspondent Ibrahim Malege reports. The four-day competition, which started on Monday, was hosted by the 22 Armour Brigade, Sobi Cantonment, Ilorin. Warrant officers and senior non-commissioned officers from five formations under the two division of the Nigerian Army participated in the competition. They participated in drilling, combat swimming, map reading, weapon handling, and obstacle crossing, which was the high point of the exercise during the grand finale. The various categories were designed to engender team spirit and togetherness in the fight against crime and protection of the nation's territorial integrity. I am Lieutenant Colonel Oyo Sawe, 32 Brigade. At the end of the competition, 32 Artillery Brigade Akure emerged victorious. Addressing the participants, the General Officer Commanding 2 Division, Major General Valentin Okoro, noted that the competition is to prove the combat readiness of the soldiers in fulfillment of their constitutional responsibilities. He was represented by the Commander 22 Armored Brigade Sobi Ilori, Brigadier General Debayo Babalola. What we have done throughout this week is to prove our combat readiness and to show that we are ready at all times to fulfill our constitutional role. He also has this stern warning for criminals. With this, he's sending a clear message to criminals all over the two division area of responsibility that we will not allow them to operate freely. We will deny them freedom of action. And if need be, deal decisively with them. Now, all the different aspects of the competition are indeed energy sapping. This is to test the resilience, perseverance, and of course, the endurance of these soldiers in withstanding hostilities, even in the most dangerous environments. Ibrahim Malige, CBC News. Yes. Ilori. We have seen we are conquered. The federal government has now distributed tricycles to 20 farmer cooperatives in Nasarawa State to aid the transportation of their agricultural products. The gesture, which is in collaboration with the Nasarawa State government, was executed through the Value Chain Development Program. Godwin Aguam has details and will return with business news. The Value Chain Development Program, VCDP, is an initiative of the federal and state governments to boost rice and cassava production, processing, and distribution across the country. Since it began operation in Nasara State, much successes have been achieved in the production and processing of these agricultural products. But the distribution and transportation of these agricultural products still poses a huge challenge, especially with the recent hike in fuel prices. It is in a bid to cushion the effect of this new price regime that the federal government, through the VCDP, is giving out tricycles to 20 farmer cooperatives in the state. We want to hear success stories. What we mean by success stories is how you have been able to use this and your livelihood has changed. How has these tricycles impacted on you and on your businesses? And for us in the value chain development program, we see agriculture as business. And because of that, we have a mandate of improving the value chains of rice and cassava. For the national state government, this initiative will ameliorate the plight of farmers in the state. We will not only applaud the initiator of this program, we will want you to please pray for them. The farmers are delighted with the initiative and ready to put the tricycles to use. Very sure that this tricycle really help our cooperative members and even our community, those that having this kind of challenges, it will help us a lot. 
Before we go to farm, we used to hire tri uh, bike, motorcycle, maybe four or five motorcycles. This one can convey us twice to our farm and we come back. In terms of harvest, whenever we make harvest, this one can convey our goods back for us. Also, if I even to carry fertilizer to the farm, the tricycle will help us. We, we are not, we cannot, we, we can't spend money again. The tricycles will serve as a vegetable tool towards achieving food security, especially now that the federal government has declared a state of emergency in the sector. Godwin, Agua. TVC News, Lafayette.